Hey, what's going on guys? It's Nate Desit. Welcome back to the channel. Sorry, it's been a little while since I've made any posts, but uh, we're kicking off a new series focused on helping guys new to the trade, apprentices, people who are thinking about getting into the trade, making decisions on the best new tool choices, the best choices for your first purchases so that you don't make some of the mistakes that I did. first thing that I was focused on at least in getting into the trade was getting a manifold thinking about making the refrigerant uh, pressure measurements now this happens to be a four valve manifold that means that you've got a high and a low side you've got a refrigerant add port for your yellow hose and then you've got the uh, micron port here as well so that you can do evacuations through your uh, vacuum pump there it's nice only having to have one piece of kit to do everything. Purchase price for this right now, or for a comparable model, because this is no longer made, purchase price is $573, and that's on sale from True Tech Tools. Regular price is $675. With hoses, this thing's $610 on sale. It's a great piece of kit, don't get me wrong. But for a guy just starting out, do you need a $610 manifold? I say no. The first thing that I would recommend that you guys buy is a good analog manifold. This is a three valve. I would get started with just a three valve manifold. You can pick this up for 68 bucks on sale at True Tech Tools right now. It comes in a great hard case right here. I keep this thing in the case at all times. For about $128, you can get it with hoses. The case has storage place for your hoses, for some adapters, and for the manifold. I think that's a great value. Learn what subcool and superheat are. Learn how to do the math in your head. Watch the gauges move and understand uh, how the machine is working. Don't let the computer inside of your fancy dancy manifold do all the work for you. Buy quality tools. Don't buy some junk piece of garbage and then think you're going to upgrade. Buy something like this. This is machined out of aluminum. It's got a rubber boot. It's got really good knobs it's only quarter turn to turn it on and off it's really fast i like that a lot better than these ball valves on the field piece where you've got to open it and then close it and you don't have to open it up all the way but i like these quarter valve uh quarter turn valves they're much more precise for me but buy a good piece of equipment first just don't buy this digital stuff first in my opinion um but moving on from that and this is what I use the most. Day in and day out, I go to my Testo refrigeration set. This is the 549i and the 115i. 549i is the pressure probe. 115i is the wireless temperature clamp. I use them in conjunction with these short little six inch ball valves. It opens up the access a little bit and these do not have a built-in low loss fitting on the pressure probes. So I have managed to burn uh, my hands a couple times with the refrigerant, so this adds a little bit of a safety, safety factor as well as some convenience in giving you a little bit better reach and uh, access with the probes. This is the Generation 1 set. The Generation 2 set is out now. The Generation 2 set has a 45 degree angle on the pressure probes, so you have a little bit better access there, but it's got greatly improved range. The Generation 1 set like I've got, you're at about 30 feet, 33 feet maximum range to do your measurements. So you're not gonna be able to go inside and take your indoor measurements and your outdoor measurements at the same time. The Generation 2 set, the new set, you can get it on True Tech Tools right now for about 296 bucks on sale, but it's got 350 feet of range, which is killer. That's uh, competitive with uh, field pieces range on their new job link manifolds that they've got. I haven't put my hands on them yet, so I can't comment one way or the other, but all of the reviews that I've seen, the literature that I've read on them, they look great. I, 
I would uh, love to uh, give them a go as well. But things get expensive when you're funding all of these uh, tool purchases on your own. Um, cannot, cannot recommend the Testo refrigeration set enough. And especially if you can find the generation set, generation one set now on sale, it's a fantastic value. Every once in a while, if you check the uh, deals in the clearance section on TrueTech, they'll pop up there and you can get them for like 150 bucks, which is a smoking deal for the as quality of equipment as it is. It, it's super good. Seems to be a big uh, time saver for me not having to go back and forth to the van. I can keep my uh, pressure probes in my backpack with me at all times. That comes in real handy. Now I mentioned it a little bit ago, uh, having wireless or separate micron gauges. This is a Testo micron gauge. This is a Testo 552, and this is the uh, AccuTools BlueVac LTE. I love the BlueVac. This is a great piece of equipment, but it's about three hundred dollars. The uh, Testo 552 comes in at around 175 I believe. can't remember the number off the top of my head. Both of them are wireless. This is going to go straight to the Testo app, same app that the uh, Testo refrigeration set uses. This is going to go to the uh, BlueVac app. Uh, the BlueVac app is far and away better as far as uh, graphing and tracking your evacuation, but if you're just looking for a wireless way to uh, you know, walk away from your vacuum pump but still be able to track things, Testo 552 is a great option. I use this as my backup, so I'll run this on the pump to watch what my vacuum pump microns are reading, and then I use the uh, BlueVac actually down on the system to see what the system is doing. But I like to have both of them hooked up that way I can see exactly what's going on. And in case one goes out, I do have the other already in line so that I don't have to stop my evacuation and start over. Now, for giggles, I do have another option for you. This is the iManifold iConnect heat pump kit. This is not mine. This is about $1,800, $2,000 worth of equipment. This belongs to the company when we do uh, power efficiency testing for the power company for some of their rebate programs and things like that. I do have it. I haven't been able to actually uh, use it yet, but there's hundreds if not thousands of reviews and uh, tutorials on the uh, iManifold on YouTube already. Great guys that have already done uh, lots of work there, especially Stephen Rairden comes to mind. Big proponent of the uh, iManifold kit. Um, but that's my takeaway for the uh, new apprentice. If you're just getting into this, if you're considering making your first purchases or you're wanting to know what you should do getting into the trade, go this route first. Go analog, learn what's going on, and you're always going to need a good backup. This doesn't need batteries. It's going to keep working in the rain. Lots, lots of good things all about having this analog gauge first. You'll never, if you buy a good one, you'll never have to replace it. And you'll always have this when your fancy stuff goes out. My Testo kit runs on AAA batteries. I, this thing eats AAA batteries. I'm always replacing one of them because the little red light is blinking on my one of my uh, temperature clamps or on one of my pressure probes. Always have a backup. That's why I still have the field piece. Field piece is a great backup. And sometimes uh, it's a little bit easier to go ahead and hook up the full manifold if I'm doing you know, a uh, change out or whatever and I only want to have to make the connections once. More often than not, I'm going to my Testo probes though. Uh, I appreciate you guys taking the time to uh, check out my channel. Like, subscribe. If you've got any comments, let me know uh, what I can do to uh, make it better. Let me know if there's a, a particular tool that you want to know about. Uh, I own a pretty good handful of them. Or, uh, you know, uh, give me your feedback on what your favorite uh, refrigerant manifold or manifold system is. You guys have a great day.